What causes that cool looking sideways cone when a jet breaks the sound barrier? The vapor cone or the shock collar is the phenomenon observed when an aircraft approaches or exceeds the speed of sound. This event is rooted in the physics of aerodynamics and also fluid dynamics. And this is a detailed explanation of how and why this happens. The phenomenon was widely recognized with the development of supersonic jets and the breaking of the sound barrier, which was first achieved by Chuck Yeager in 1947, flying the Bell X-1. The speed of sound in air, approximately 1,235 kilometers per hour or 767 miles per hour at sea level, is a critical threshold in aerodynamics. When an aircraft approaches this speed, it reaches a Mach number close to 1.0. The Mach number is the ratio of the object's speed to the speed of sound in the surrounding medium. Mach 1 is the speed of sound, Mach 0.8 is 80% of the speed of sound, and Mach 1.2 is 20% faster than the speed of sound, etc. For perspective, traditional commercial jets typically cruise at speeds ranging from 725 to 965 kilometers per hour or 450 to 600 miles per hour. In terms of Mach number, these jets usually cruise at Mach 0.78 to Mach 0.85. As an aircraft accelerates towards the speed of sound, it encounters significant changes in airflow behavior. At subsonic speeds, pressure waves created by the aircraft can travel ahead of it, giving the surrounding air time to move out of the way. As the aircraft approaches transonic speeds, around 0.8 to 1.2 Mach, these pressure waves begin to compress and coalesce, forming shock waves. The shock waves are thin regions where the air pressure, temperature, and density change almost instantaneously. As the aircraft reaches the speed of sound, these shock waves become more pronounced and can cause a rapid increase in pressure and temperature in front of the aircraft, followed by a rapid drop in pressure and temperature behind the shock wave. In addition to shock waves, expansion fans occur when air flows around curved surfaces of the aircraft, such as the wings and the fuselage. These expansion fans lead to a drop in pressure and temperature. The vapor cone forms due to the interaction of the shock waves and the expansion fans with the surrounding humid air. As the aircraft generates shock waves, the air pressure behind these shock waves drops rapidly. This rapid pressure drop is often associated with an accompanying temperature drop. The drop in temperature can cause the water vapor in the air to condense into tiny droplets, forming a visible cloud. This cloud typically forms in a conical shape around the aircraft, hence the term vapor cone. The visibility of the vapor cone depends on the humidity of the air. Higher humidity increases the likelihood of condensation and a more pronounced vapor cone. The cone is often observed in humid conditions near the ground or above the ocean. Vapor cone appears as a white halo or cloud around the aircraft, often near the tail or the wingtips. Its exact shape and size can vary depending on the aircraft's speed, altitude, and atmospheric conditions. The cone is most commonly seen when the aircraft is traveling at transonic speeds but can also appear at supersonic speeds in the right conditions. When the aircraft fully surpasses the speed of sound, it creates a sonic boom. The loud and powerful shock occur on the ground. The vapor cone and sonic boom are related phenomena, both resulting from the interaction of the aircraft with the speed of sound, but the vapor cone is the visual effect while the sonic boom is the auditory result. Thank you for watching and joining me on this pursuit of knowledge.